everyone, I'm Jackie from the Auburn Area Branch Library. Well, it's October, do you know what that means? It's time for Halloween crafts. I like Halloween because you can do anything from cute things to kind of creepy things. Well, the craft that I have for you today is on the cute side. This is what it is. A little candy jar, candle holder, whatever you want to make of it. And here are the items we're going to be using today. I've got a candle holder from the dollar store. A uh, covered bowl, also from the dollar store. I got some colored tissue. I'm using black and orange, of course, because it's Halloween from the dollar store. A uh, little LED candle if you want to light it up when you're done. I will be using gloss Mod Podge and a hammered black all-surface paint and primer. Works great on the glass. Also, I will be using scissors, a brush, and a pencil. So now that you know what you're using, let's get started. The first thing I did is prepped the candlesticks by rubbing them down with alcohol so that the paint would adhere better to the surface. Next, I spray painted them in a well-ventilated area with one coat of the black hammered spray paint. Next, I adhered the tissue paper to the globe a little at a time I overlapped the orange strips of paper so as to give it more of a pumpkin look to make it look like the, the ribs of a pumpkin. And then I'm going to let that dry for about one hour. If your strips are too long, Cut them off at the bottom and then cut a small circle of tissue paper to cover the bottom and Mod Podge that to make a smooth surface on the bottom. Now that the tissue paper is dried for an hour, I'm going to put another coat of Mod Podge over the top of the tissue to seal that in. You'll know when it's dry when it's clear and the surface is not tacky anymore. Now I'm going to adhere the facial features with just a touch of Mod Podge and once those are dry, I will Mod Podge over the top of that to seal those in as well. And let that dry till it's clear. Okay, now that our Mod Podge is all dried, it's time to glue the globe to the base. Let me get out my E6000. That cap sticks on there really good sometimes. And put a little around the rim of the candle holder. There we go. And there we are, we're all done. So you can put a little candle in here and when the lights are out, it'll glow really nice. Also, you can make these for the Christmas holiday too. What I did with this one is I glued two candle holders together, painted them, and I frosted this glass with glass etching cream. You can also do the same thing with uh, uh, spray paint that is frosted spray paint specifically for glass. And I think it looks kind of cute when you put a little candle in there. I put a cute little wreath on there and it looks like a little lamppost. So not only can you make these for Halloween, you can make them for Christmas too or any holiday you can think of. I hope you enjoyed doing our craft today. See you next time.